Thank you for staying with Weekend Prime. As the celebrations of Eliud Kipchoge continue, one Monica Wamboi is desperate for a chance to represent Kenya in the upcoming World Deaf Cycling Champion, Championship in Turkey. She cannot raise money for her trip, let alone her travel documents. As Ray Polo reports, it is a rest against time for the 30-year-old who has built hope on wheels. The slow returns notwithstanding. <laughs> Monica Wamboi has grown up a strong lady despite her cycle of challenges. My name is Monica Wamboi and this is my sign name. She was born without the power of speech and her parents' death left her hoping from one sibling's home to another given the difficulties in her communication. I loved my mother so much and she took good care of me. She was always by my side as I cycled. I followed her around a lot. Monica is deaf, but she won't silence her dreams. I used to dream of being the champion deaf cyclist, for I had never seen one. Almost on a daily basis, the 30-year-old wakes up to the bike. She has hard to perfect the art of borrowing, albeit painfully. All she has is her cycling skill and good health to keep pedaling. I don't have a helmet, sport shoes, gloves, knee pads. I don't even have a bicycle. training I borrow even reflector jacket. I have the passion but no gear. On a lucky day she takes on the roads of Karura Kinyungu in Kiambu County hoping to break the cycle of need that slows her dream of becoming a world champion. Monica ni rafiki yangu sana huwa tunafanya mazoezi na yeye. This is her bicycle and sometimes I borrow it when she is not training, so we keep alternating. Today, she has more than luck on her side. A friend happens to ride by and just like that, I get an extra bike and borrow her biking gear. She has earned two silver medals recently, one from the 25 kilometers ladies race, another from the 22 kilometers pedal mania. I could have done better in the races, but the pedals were so rigid, it was not the right bike for the race. She fears she may lose a chance to participate in the 14th World Deaf Cycling Championship, which begins on the 26th of October in Gaziantep, Turkey. She has no travel documents and no money for the week-long stay abroad. She was meant to travel by the 26th, but then if you look at that time period, how fast would she be able to get that passport? Yeah, and then after that, we have the visa issue. We've seen guys who get passports for like in like in a day. Yeah, I mean it can be done. If you want to know that I can do it, come to Luna Park and watch me train. Riding a borrowed bicycle on borrowed gear can never be so tough. But Monica cycles on with the hope that she won't have to be borrowing everything for every ride. My name is Ray Polo for KTN News.